know that the, th- the thing that I watch a li- lot. Oh, hold on. The thing that I watch live with Lauren is, of course, David Muir, because Lauren's obsessed with watching his Muir, and then Jeopardy. Or the, it's actually Muir, local news, then Jeopardy. And you can imagine the ads that are on during those three programs. I think you're going to be playing some of them. Well, I started thinking about that. Well, I know a lot of these ads. So, Anna, how do I do screen share? And for a while, they played an ad. For three years, they played an ad that I did for New Plaza for the Parkinson's Tremors. Yeah. They played that every night. <laughs> so I was like, uh, hey. By the way, which, you know, and let, you know, let's talk about it. I just had a friend, as we know, die two weeks ago. I know, I'm so Parkinson's. sorry. And look, I'm not saying there's anything with drugs, but there's nothing, everything, you don't see a Ford truck ad. You, all you see are drug ads. That's it. <laughs> During started, Muir, local news, and Jeopardy, all drug ads. And I started thinking to myself, what ads did we play back when we were healthier? Right? Like, what, it, what ads? Coca Cola. <laughs> well, Coke versus Pepsi. It was, there was always Coke versus Pepsi. Let me, let me pull this up, see if I could do this correctly. Oh, we can all, now we can all see your. Uh, all right. So, your, your tabs. All right. Okay. I, I don't care. Oh, this is good. Camel, camel cigarette. The cigarette preferred by doctors. All right. He, he, the the folks, I am not making doctors. this up. When, when, when I was a kid, these are what the ads were like. And we're playing it. If you want to see the ad, uh, this one's in black and white, which means it's probably pre-1960. But these ran all the way through the 70s. And you're going to see that in a minute. Here we go. Your job. Call you out of bed in the middle of the night. Well, if you were a doctor, it would be often. And generally, there isn't much time to spare. Oh. Coffee, doctor? Oh, fine. Have a camel with your coffee. Thanks. To poop extra hard. This night work's kind of rough, isn't it? That's right. But a camel's <laughs> always a pleasure. Yes, folks, the pleasing mildness of a camel is just as enjoyable to oh. a doctor as it is to you or me. In a nation, you're going to hook up. Doctors in all branches of medicine were asked, what cigarette do you smoke, doctor? The brand named most was Camels. Tens of thousands of doctors, general practitioners. I, I love this part because they're going, look, they're showing you, they're doing a checklist. They, they were big on checklists back then. They're yeah. showing you all the different type of doctors that would recommend that you smoke the cigarette. Folks, I swear, to you, this, this, I know anyone who's less than... Uh, probably 50 years old has never seen a, a smoking ad on television. Right. I don't, I think they took them off by the time I was a kid, but there were a lot of print ads. Like the, I knew the Marlboro man. Yeah. And I knew yeah. Joe Camel and things like that. But like, this is, Th- this crazy. was like again, every, every commercial. Every, my generation was uh three out of four dentists say to chew trident. Yeah. This was four out of five dentists. This is four, out of, four five out of five doctors. dentists. I don't know uh, the ratios. Yeah, it was four out of five for, for Trident. This was four out of five doctors. And they're checking them off. General practitioner, surgeon, specialist. All also right, let, knowing let, that they had to do multiple takes of this and they had to have a somebody type that up. In over and over and over. Over yeah. and over again because you didn't have to make copies then. Yeah, they, that's not a ditto. We no, it's not a ditto or a mimeograph. By the way, when I was a kid, we were all sniffing ditto and we can't figure out how we all got answered. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> well, no, the teacher would hand you the paper that was ditto printed and it smelled so good. Like every kid would just pick it up and go, you, you don't remember that, right? The paper. We was had mimeograph kind of and then we had the, the Xerox. No, we had something called ditto. And anyone my age will go, oh my God, I remember the paper was still kind of damp from the ditto machine. We would all yeah. pick it up. That chemical smelled so good. It almost, it was like a new car smell. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, sure, I'm sure you're fine. I'm sure it didn't embed yeah. itself into your soft yeah. tissues. Exactly. No, everything is fine. All right. Let, let's keep going with this camel ad. Surgeons, specialists, doctors in every branch of medicine were included. And according to the nationwide survey, more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. Try camels yourself. The cigarette so many doctors enjoy. So, Anna, if people think I'm making this up, that's the cigarette an cigarette doctors enjoy. Yeah, I like how he said that. Doctors enjoy. The uh, cigarette doctors enjoy. Yeah, so that that's one of them. Let's see. Anything? Let's see if I. Uh, here's another one. If you think if you think that oh, Vin, you just went and found one thing, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Let's get rid of that one. Let's just go to this one. You can't take the country out of Santa into the dogwood smoking. Country fresh. That's the taste you get wherever you light up a Salem. Because Salem gently air softens every puff. Or the it air softens every puff. <laughs> She's smoking by the dogwoods, getting air softened with every puff. Now, look, in today's world, in a beer ad, you cannot drink the beer. You right. can pour the beer. You can toast. You can do everything. You cannot put it up to your you mouth. You mean cheers? You can cheers? <laughs> you, yeah, as they say on, on the kids today, you can cheers with it, but you cannot, you, you can't, that, that's it. Yeah. That's it, right? No, these people are, are you know, taking big drags on the nail. As this lady, this lady's got this like whole Marlo Thomas look, super cute. And by the way, the the ad makes no sense to say you could take Salem out of the country, but you can't take the country out of Salem. See, they started in a metropolitan area meeting. Let's go back because they're saying, hey, look, we met in the metropolitan area. And oh, oh yeah, and then all of a sudden they're by the dogwoods. And, and it's like so they're saying because it was all about country and everything. You're living in a city, but you want to feel like I you're love that. They, I love that they they're trying to make smoking seem like it's fresh and clean. Yeah, because country folk are doing it. So it's got to be good. So let, let's see what they're saying oh about Salem. God. I'm going all the way back. The woman is like okay. running in the rain. She's going to meet her. Oh, I want. Yeah, I want to see this from the beginning. Yeah, she's going to. I'm interested in this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you can I feel see. like the doctors, I was like, I got it. You don't need a minute of that. I got well, it. This look, one has, problem, is telling me a story. The problem I had with the doctor was, it's like, you're a doctor. And they're waking you up at all hours of the night. I feel bad go, for doctors. To go sit in a room with another doctor and have coffee and cigarettes with a hot nurse. Oh, I felt like he was going to get a hand job from his other doctor friend. Like they were vibing well, each other. Did you see the nurse? The nurse was like bending down like they used to teach the Playboy bunnies to bend down like the, the Playboy. The drink. Yeah, the nurse was like a hot nurse, but mm -hmm. it was all about doctors and we're doctors and we got to do some doctoring that night, all hours of the night. Well, I thought this guy was going to be, you know, clear and public on someone. I can't cast. get my doctor on the phone past 3 p.m. Yeah. So I don't know yeah. who these doctors are who are doctoring well, all night. The, re the doctors are very busy now because everyone is asking their doctor, according to the commercials today, ask your doctor if Sky Rizzi is right for you. All right, but let, let's go with this ad. If you Anna. happen to ever see your doctor at your appointment, ask your doctor if Sky Rizzi is yeah. right for you. If you ever see it, when, when your doctor gives you that seven and a half, almost eight minutes, Ask him if Sky Rizzi's right for you. If your doctor walks through the threshold of that office, how did you make that happen? Let us know so we can ask our doctors if Sky Rizzi might be right for us. If you can ask your doctor not to knock before they come in, just barge in because that knock takes three seconds oh, it, away from your- You just lost three seconds. Visit. You just lost it. Yeah, because once they knock, they're on the clock. Ooh, mm -hmm. look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm like uh, Jesse Jackson over here. Once they knock- they are on the clock. You see, you don't, I you don't have to do it like Jesse Jackson, Green I, Eggs I, Ham. I, I just became uh, who? Who was it? Um, there, there was a black comedian that used to be on everything. Um, uh, Nipsey Russell. Oh, Nipsey Russell. Was yeah, he was like on every game. Love show. Nipsey Russell. Yeah, he, like Nipsey Russell and Buddy Hackett were on every game show together. Yes, yes, they were like, uh, "Do you want Nipsey?" Well, no, you got to take the Nipsey. Blah, the blah, Nipsey blah. Buddy. Yeah, package, package deal. And, we'll, and, we'll throw in Phyllis Diller because she's a woman. She'll she'll yeah. do anything and work for free. And, and look, if if Phyllis is uh, half in the bag, we'll get Brett Summers to show up. Yeah, exactly. And I, I swear, folks, go look up these people. Put in the name. Go look up Match Brett, Game. Go look up uh, Nipsey Russell. Go, and Nipsey Russell would rhyme shit that didn't make sense. <laughs> you know, he was like, it was almost like, who's the guy that tried O.J. Simpson? Um um, Lance Ito, the judge. No, no, no. Who, who's his attorney? Chris who, Darden, Robert no, Kardashian. No, no, no. Allen Ginsberg. You've Ginsburg, named every thing. famous attorney. Allen, black guy, who was, who's the black attorney? If the glove don't Darden. fit, huh? No, you no, must no. acquit. If the glove don't fit, you must acquit. What was his yeah. name? See, we can't. Wait, he was OJ's attorney. He was OJ's attorney. Oh, he, Johnny Cochran. Johnny Cochran. Johnny By the Cochran. way, you're welcome for coming up with all those names 
Yeah, every name is up Johnny yet, Cochran. You're like, you know every detail except for his name, Johnny Cochran. Yeah, if the glove don't fit, you must have quit. I must just have. became that with this. And, and Nipsey Russell was the same way. He would just say stuff and you would go, what? Uh, well, Nipsey, you, you're just rhyming, you know, words. And there's no meaning between the two. And, and Buddy Hackett would be going, tiff, 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 because he had no teeth or whatever. Anyway, here's a commercial. This one is not black and white, folks. That means we're in more. And they were all smoking on the game show, too. Oh, oh yeah. They were all sitting there smoking and drinking. And drinking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. You ready? Okay. Here's mm -hmm. a modern day I'm, I'm focused. I can't wait to see this story unfold. In color, because Anna, stop me if you want to, if you want to stop, you know, because okay. she's in the city and then, you know, she's going to the country. I'm assuming she's in the city of Winston-Salem. You can take me to another country, but you can't take the country out of Salem. Yeah. Country soft, country fresh. That's the taste you get wherever you light up a Salem. Because Salem gently air softens every puff for the smoothest, most refreshing taste of any filter cigarette. So wherever you are, take a puff. It's fresh. It's springtime. You can take Salem out of the country, but you can't take the country out of Salem. Try Salem, America's largest selling menthol cigarette. So, Anna, here's what they're literally saying in this ad. They're saying, look, oxygen and nitrogen, not enough. You need to clean that stuff up a bit. You need to suck it through burning tobacco get it into your lungs. That's how you're going to feel better because it makes the air yeah. softer. They well, literally said that in the ad. If you smoke this cigarette, it softens because look, I don't know, Anna, I've been breathing it's a soft, all day. Puffy, fresh air. Yeah. Puffy, puffy country air. Yeah. Because you, you know, air is not clean enough. You want to, you want to double clean it. You want to puff it up. You want it to be good. Then you got to get some, you got to suck it through a tube of tobacco. Yeah. And then, and only then will it be, I don't know if you remember, there was a cigarette called Cools back in the day. Oh yeah. Where the filter was mentholated. Cool spelled with a K, right? Yeah, K-O-O-L. And yeah. the, the filters were mentholated and their whole thing was, hey, not only is this the freshest cigarette in the world, but we got the cool filter. Right. Right. As if it was so different. And there was another one. Do you remember Tarrington? They had the charcoal no. filter and all of their ads were about, hey, other people try to take paper clips and tape and everything and put one of our filters on their cigarettes. Why not just smoke the Tarrington? Do you remember what Tarrington's tagline was? I don't remember Tarrington cigarettes. Okay. I feel like we didn't have those in Virginia. Tarrington. Oh, I think it was a Virginia. Virginia's where oh, that's true. They probably made them all in Virginia. All right, no, so but I don't remember that one. All right, T Tarrington had a- My mom smoked coffee. Virginia Slims, so she's a true Virginian. Yeah. Okay, there, there was a tagline at Tarrington, and you don't know what it is, because you're not even familiar with Tarrington. The no. tagline would not work in this Me Too world. Uh-oh. Because it showed I'm women- scared. I'm like, should you even say it? Are we gonna get canceled? It showed women with black eyes, because their tagline was, uh, we'd rather fight than switch. Oh, but the Tarrington users are the women and they'd rather fight people than switch their cigarettes. Yeah, and they're showing women with black eyes. With Irish sunglasses. You ready? Yeah. I'm not making it. Folks, I couldn't make this stuff up. This is back. Before start from the started. beginning. Uh, I th uh, six seconds. I probably queued it up because of something. Oh, no, let's see here. Just just give us All the right, here Oh, she's doing a photo booth. This will be a big reveal, I can tell. Us Tarrington smokers would rather fight than switch. 
What gives Tariton the taste worth fighting for? Just this. There's a difference you can see in the filter. It makes a difference you can taste in the smoke. Look, Tariton has a white outer filter and an inner filter of activated charcoal. Fine granules of activated charcoal in pure cellulose. And the charcoal filter works with the white filter to actually improve the flavor of Tariton's fine tobaccos. Yes, there's a difference you can see in the filter. It makes a difference you can taste in the smoke. So get the charcoal filter with a taste worth oh, fighting for. Join the unswitchables. Smoke Tariton. Us Tariton smokers would rather fight than switch. Tariton from the American Tobacco Company. I would rather fight than switch. And they did a bunch of. Uh, that is also to possibly the worst makeup job. <laughs> oh, here, here, I guess here's another one. It just came up. Okay. But here, this was their thing for a long time. Tarantin was all about fighting and switching. Scroll back up so I can see your face. I can't oh, see your let face. Me, let me do this. See that bad makeup job. She looks like a football player. Right, but this was the this was the, like they had every magazine had full page ads with women, beautiful women with the with black, the black eye. eye. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Now, you know, is I mean, can you imagine no. women today with the black eye? It, it couldn't happen. It could not. It couldn't be done. Oh, the right is fighting. fighting for. Fighting for. Tarrington's got a charcoal tip and it's got a white one too. Tobacco for you. Us Tariton smokers would rather fight than switch. Join me. They think, here's the thing. They think it's so clever, too, because the black charcoal under the eye matches the black charcoal of the filter, and it's a whole thing. And also, too, who would they be fighting? Like, who? It's not that they're fighting somebody who's telling them to quit smoking. They're fighting someone who's telling them just to switch brands of cigarettes. They get into what? a fist fight about it. By the way, uh, you have now, to go to anger management these days, right? Uh, now, nowadays, uh, you know, activated charcoal is something that you know most brush your hackers. Teeth with it. Yeah, you people go, oh, armpits. brush your teeth, do this, do that. Back then, it was that's how you made your cigarettes. Back then, real men would smoke their cigarettes with their activated charcoal. Yeah, that, that's just the way we rolled. But Anna, um, that's what commercials were back when we were lean and healthy. We had less heart disease. We had less everything back then. Yeah, we were I, busy giving people lung cancer instead of the other things. By the way, I remember being 16 and 17 and, and uh, my best friend's mom, Nancy, would uh, say, um, darling, can you take the car and go, go get me a couple of packs of Virginia Slims mentholatum? She called it mentholatum. Yeah. And I was like, yes, because she had a Jaguar and I got to drive her Jaguar. <laughs> so I, I, en I enjoyed that. I was like, sure, I'll do whatever you want. All right, let's switch to 2012, Anna. Okay. And uh, this is an ad. Uh, this is now, 2010, it says. Is that what it says? Yeah. Uh, all right. I can't so, believe I used to swing over those rocks. Took some foolish risks as a teenager. But I was still taking a foolish risk with my cholesterol. Anyone with high cholesterol may be at increased risk of heart attack. Diet and exercise weren't. Line number you know, one. You know how men casually just say, I took some foolish risks as a teenager? You know how they casually just say that when men yeah. talk? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's look. exactly how men talk. Absolutely, yeah, exactly. All right, and by the way, lie number one. You know, high cholesterol, and what are they calling high cholesterol? I I have people calling me on consults, going, my doctor wants to put me on a statin, Lipitor is a statin, in case you're not aware. And it's like, well, I can't talk to you about what your doctor talked to you about, but can you just casually tell me what your cholesterol was? Oh, my doctor says it's way too high, one sixty. And your doctor's giving you a drug for what? Because why? What's going on? And do you are you at risk because you have a lot of small density, small dense particles? My doctor didn't say anything about that. Oh, well, if your doctor's putting you on this drug, you must have a lot of small dense particles in that very low cholesterol rating. No, my doctor didn't know about did you go to a, did you go to a, a, a heart doctor? Or what did you go to? No, just my general practitioner. General practitioners know nothing about heart disease. Sorry. Sorry. They, they took it for five minutes in college. They, they were told, oh, you, you, you see cholesterol. The thing people need to live on, doctors, that thing we told you people need to live, cholesterol. Let's tell people it's bad for them. The one thing they need to fucking live 
let's convince them that is bad for them. But let me go on here. But then they can sell more drugs. That, right. uh, and doesn't Lipitor also raise your blood sugar? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not. A, I'm not a chemist. I don't know. Let, let's just go on and see what this I am not a chemist says. Either. Because look, this guy used to swing off of a rope, and that was who boy he was partying back in the day, Anna. Can you imagine if me thinking swinging off a rope into a river, which I grew up on a river like Huck Finn probably did a million times. Never once did anyone swinging off of a rope into a river go, man, I'm taking a chance here. I am taking one hell of a chance. We, it, 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 you it, you it, never it, said this might be a foolish risk. I, uh, That's a foolish know, risk. Turn to my buddy Jim or my buddy Brian. Yeah, and tell him about guys. your foolish risks. Hey, guys, come on down to the river. I'm about to take a foolish risk. <laughs> You know how guys talk to each other. By the way, oh. Pfizer faced many lawsuits that claim Lipitor caused uh, an increase in blood sugar levels and diabetes. So just want to put that out there. OK, but let's okay. go on with this ad because but we're not even when, talking about that. Back when we were healthy, doctors were telling us to smoke and telling mm -hmm. us not only to smoke, but which cigarettes were the best. Camel had no filter. Hey, which you cigarette you could get into fist fight over. Hey, look, I mean, it, it, I will, as a woman, I will take a beating over a cigarette. I no, I feel like she wasn't taking a beating. I feel like she won. And I had I a feel client. like she won. She got her teratins. I had a client in New Orleans early on, and she was telling me that um, after she had her back in the 70s, after she had a second kid, she had trouble losing the weight, meaning she had trouble going from like 155 back to 128. Right. You know, she was having a severe weight problem. Hear this, folks. This is this is what I used to deal with early on in my career. This was early 1980s. And uh, she went to her doctor and her doctor said, um, well, would you would you consider taking up smoking? <laughs> and that's what she did. I was the one that got her off of cigarettes in the 1980s. She goes, can you believe I started this habit because a doctor told me that if I took up smoking, I can lose weight. That's a fact. We were healthier when we were <sighs> less healthy. And, and by the way, this is all doctors. These are the same doctors that told people on television, it's okay to smoke. Smoking won't hurt you. These are the same doctors that said, don't wear a mask, wear a mask, don't wear a mask. You can't go to church and wear a mask, but you could go to a rally and no mask required. It, do you understand why everyone is so confused about everything? Yeah. The first couple of days of COVID, if you get a box, we were doing it at my house. They were like, look, if you get COVID, you're going to drop that in five minutes. So if you get a box from Amazon, let yeah. it sit in the sun for like a month. You leave it outside. Don't even touch it. <laughs> let it sit in the sun and but spray it with bleach first. Yeah, I, I had Lonnie Beauchamp. I had him send me some some kind of stuff to spray on everything. Oh, yeah. Some he sent it of, to me, too. Yeah. Some kind of purple stuff. We were making gallons yeah. of it and you know, I never made it because I'm the, I'm too lazy. I was like, I'm uh, like, if the FedEx guy know. is all right, I'm going to be all right. We didn't know. But after like two weeks, I went, OK, this is just ridiculous. Bring the groceries in the house. Everyone would be dead at this point because not everyone is doing what we're doing. At right. any rate, you know, this is what you know, you, that's what they told us. Right. This is what happens with everything. We get told, oh, doctors are saying take Lipitor. Let, let's listen to what this this evil Knievel of a daredevil did. Oh. He was a kid. Well, you can tell he's a risk taker by his shirt. Yeah, because it's, you know, he's got the sleeves rolled up and it's not buttoned. Yeah. That's rebel right there. Well, it's he's a rebel. risk taker because he's wearing that nice watch close to a body of water. And you don't know what's yeah, going to happen. That looks like a Chesapeake Peak Bay Retriever that he never met before this ad. But let's. No, let's no, 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 no. That dog is being handled. Yeah. Here we go. Not for me. I stopped kidding myself. I've been eating healthier, exercising more. And now I'm also taking Lipitor. If you've been kidding yourself about high cholesterol, stop. Along with diet, Lipitor has been shown to lower bad cholesterol 39 to 60%. Lipitor. Is that the rope swing that just went by? That was weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, okay. What are you, do you see what's on screen right now? Along, Along with, with diet, diet, Lipitor lowers bad cholesterol 39 to 60%. Okay, what's bad cholesterol? Do they uh, say? LDL. Okay. L a small little, particle LDL. That's my let, guess. Let, let's say, or, but let's say it's just LDL in general. Okay. 
Okay. But it's not LDL in general. Okay. Let, let's just say, Anna, you got your calculator? Uh-huh. Always. Let's say that someone had um, uh, cholesterol, let's just use an even number of 200. Okay. Very safe level. Wait, oh, is that the oh, ratio or just? No, no, no. That's, that's just overall. Good. That's LDL right. plus HDL. Right. Got it. All right. And as we know, as we know, they're not saying it in this ad, but they call all of LDL the bad cholesterol. We right. know that, right? We know that, that, that piece of the puzzle. Okay. Let's say you have a 50-50 ratio. Let's say you have perfect. 100 and 100. So you have 100 and 100. Okay. You take 60% from 100, you got 40. So your cholesterol is now down to 140. Right. On, on what they're calling your back. There goes your ratio. You've, you're now fucked up in another direction. If this thing works the way they said. Does any of this sound normal, folks? Does any well, of it? But the thing is, is like when you watch TV, and they say things like this, and then your doctor says you have high cholesterol, your ears perk up. It worked. Their, their propaganda campaign worked. Right. Because I'm still talking to people, oh, well, he's got to do this, that, and the other thing and because of the cholesterol. And I'm like, well, what are the questions to tell people to ask? Because I don't even know. And I don't want to, and I'm not going to go there. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to go, oh, it could be bullshit. Like, I can't say that to somebody. Yeah, look, I can't, I'm not allowed, my attorney won't allow me to talk to people about this kind of stuff, but it's the first question they ask whenever they ask. Well, I'm glad that they ask you, but I'm saying like when people are out there, like I, I'm talking to audience members like myself, who when you're out there in the world and people are having these conversations in your families, at your church potlucks, at your little league games, all those things, people talk about this kind of thing. Well, I'm on this medication, well, I'm on that medication. They said this about my cholesterol. Well, they said that about my A1C. And then it's like, you want to be able to offer some sort of like, hey, check out. And I usually say like cholesterol code, um, Dave Feldman. I say Jason Fung. Yeah, I'm sure there's other people that I'm not thinking of. But look, I tell but, people to go look up Ivor Cummins, Jason Fung, Ivor uh, Cummins, uh, Jason Feldman, uh, Diet Doctor. They all talk about it. Right. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's right like here. because th they and they look at you like you are crazy oh, like a flat earther you might as well be talking about how man never i might as well have said john f kennedy jr is gonna be here in five minutes yeah yeah no absolutely yeah you sound like a crazy person a cra you know th that's the way that's why i just keep my mouth shut but here here we are ads when you know all we're doing is selling ads let's continue and see what happens in this ad mm -hmm. FDA approved to reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke in patients who have heart disease or risk factors for heart disease. Lipitor is not for everyone, including people with liver problems and women who are nursing pregnant or may become pregnant. You need simple blood tests to check for liver problems. Tell your doctor if you are taking other medications or if you have any muscle. I wish I got that voice over John. Be a sign of a rare but serious side yeah. effect. Let's go, wake go. That is that is reckless. That's him being reckless again. Yeah, he jumped in water, Anna. I hope he took that watch off first. Yeah, he jumped in water. Her wardrobe's going to charge him. By the way, he jumped in feet first because he's a rebel. <laughs> he didn't even do a flip or a back dive or anything. No, no, no. He he had a spastic jump. He and the dog went off that. He did that a spastic together. jump competition. And by the way, folks, he didn't do he didn't do the rope swing because that was a little too rich for his blood at 45. But uh, he did go spastically into the water. Okay, you think that guy was 45? If you have high cholesterol, you may be at increased risk of heart attack and stroke. Get him all beefy. Talk to your doctor about your risk and about Lipitor. There you have it, Anna. There you have it. I mean, <sighs> and it's well, on and on and on and on. I know we're going to oh. talk about another one, but let me just tell you something real quick. Because you know what swept... Has asthma pushed Wait, you pause it for a second. life? I, I'm trying to. Um, something that swept the internet a couple weeks ago was the news story about the kid who ate leftovers and hours later had to have his arms and legs. Oh, 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 we're, we're, get, we're getting to that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, this is one of my favorites. I think you like this one too, Anna. Um, this is Jardian. On it. On it. 
it with Guardians. Guardians. They're 22 million. Guardians must spend wrong. billions of dollars on media. They're on every night during Jeopardy. Yeah, and they use that very popular theme. You know, get on it, get on it. They, like sub, subliminally, they're telling you, get on this drug right now. Yeah. Right now, right? So, yeah, yeah let's go through this ad. You ready? Mm-hmm. Managing type 2 diabetes? On it. On it. <laughs> On it. It's Jardians. They're 22 million oh. prescriptions strong. Meet the people who are managing type 2 diabetes and heart risk with Jardians. Jardians is a once daily pill. <laughs> What's that guy playing with a dildo? Wait, hang on. Did you hear what I heard? No, I was watching what that guy yeah, was playing everybody with. Wa- playing everybody with. wants to be included. I, I, I never heard this because I never heard the ad. You know how everyone wants to be included? So, like, People like whenever we do anything online now, it becomes, oh, yeah, everyone's doing it. There's like five million people following that. Or, you know, everybody's mukbunging and holding. They, right. They're doing that with a drug. Listen to how smart this is. I, I, I would like if they're I was on my rowing people. machine, if I was on my rowing machine, I would not have picked this up. But it's like, hey, join 22 million other people who think this is OK. D- join almost 10 percent of the country that's taking this drug. Listen to it, folks. I just caught this. They're 22 million prescriptions strong. Meet the people who are managing type 2 diabetes and heart risk with Jardians. Jardians is a once daily pill that can reduce the risk of cardiovascular death for adults who also have known heart disease. So it could help save your life from a heart attack or stroke. And Jardians lowers A1C. Jardians can cause serious side effects. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back, go back, go back. Look at the graphic. After that, help save your life from a heart attack or stroke. Fast forward one second. Heart attack or stroke. And Jardians. Yep. Lowers lower A1C A1Cs. with diet and exercise. Yeah. Guess what else can lower your A1Cs? Diet and exercise without taking the drug. Something that's free. You're not putting a chemical in your body. You can make yourself healthy. End of story. I was yelling about this last week with my relative who may come and stay with me for a while. I hope that happens because, you know, we can fix this without any drugs, right? Yeah, you don't want to so, have a high A1C. But by the way, by the way go on, Anna. I went to the Jardians website because of that A1C thing because we talk about this again and again. You're, you're pre-diabetic in, at, from 5.6 to 5.9, correct? That is correct. Five type 2 6, diabetic if you're trouble. at 6 and over. Right. So their claim is Jardians helped, and I'm reading the language from their website, Jardians helped some people achieve an A1C of less than 7%, asterisk. And what does the asterisk go to? The asterisk says 13% of people taking placebo saw their A1C drop below 7. Compared with 38% of people taking Jardians, 10 milligrams and 39% taking 25 mill. By the way, two and a half times only increases your percentage 1%. Right. So still 38% means that, what is that? 62% did not see their A1C drop. So the majority of people taking this drug that they have this big claim for their A1C doesn't even drop to where they're at seven, where they're still type two diabetic. And more than 10%. More specifically, 13% of those people on the placebo had the same effect. Had the yeah. good effect. So does this drug work? Doesn't sound like it. But and also, what? if you take 25 milligrams, which is two and a half times the 10 milligram dose, it's only 1% more likely that you will lower your A1C to seven. Yeah. And, and this is what we're dealing with, folks. These are ads. They just run constantly. I, I swear to God, I'd rather see them bring cigarette ads back. You know, we, we did this big thing on cigarette ads. Turns out we were healthier back when people were smoking. Don't smoke, folks. This is not don't be that. OK, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is back when we told people when you can drink in an ad, when you can smoke in an ad. Now you got to have a big thing. Hey, you, you want to watch this movie? There's going to be violence. Cigarette smoking and sex, right? They tell you that in the movie with violence and sex, there might be someone puffing on on a nail. The bottom line is, this is worse. This is this is a bigger. This is more egregious than when people were smoking. 
because at least when you were, well, I would like to say at least you knew what you were getting into when you were smoking, but we had doctors, doctors on television saying, hey, surgeons, um, uh, we have general practitioners, we have uh, heart surgeons, everyone, everyone is saying that Camel is the best one to smoke. I didn't make that up. I just had it up on the screen. Go watch Every doctor who's been paid by Camel agrees that this yeah. is the best cigarette to smoke. And doctors, look, doctors are no better than anyone else. If you think they, they have some kind of heart, no, they will take money like anyone else. Well, that's why I say when you find a good doctor, praise them, keep them. Yeah. I finally found the good one, uh, Dr. Debbie. Debbie, De Debbie's my doctor now. I can't Where say you live? Husband. Where you yeah. live now? Oh, that's yeah. good. I'm glad. Oh, she and her husband are both doctors and uh, very smart people. And I went to, as you know, I walked into one doctor, I had a big bowl of candy out front. And that woman <laughs> told me, I, you know, I, I have a, a, a calcium what? score of, of zero. Yeah, I have a calcium score of zero. I have no heart disease. I, I had the scan, I have everything. And she goes, yeah, you need to be on a statin. Why? I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, folks. Why? My cholesterol number is in the 100s. Why? I, I don't know. She, she that goes, that doctor to has to give you a reason why if everything I, is. I, we had a fight. Range. Had, she, she finally said, I'm sorry, sir. I can't I can't be your doctor because I had her on the phone. I was driving and I said, look, she's calling with my results. I said, OK, I sent you my scan, my heart scan, my, my total cardiovascular thing. You you were making some, you know, it's like, wow, you're sitting here. You're not even at total rest and your heartbeat is in the low 50s. Oh my God, you're in good shape. And then a week later, you're going to call me and tell me I need to be on a statin. When you said I had no clogging in my arteries, I have nothing. And my cholesterol is not even into the 200s. That is so weird. Is also, because there are people out there, I've talked to doctors, there's, there's people walking around with cholesterol of five and 600. They will never drop dead of a heart attack because cholesterol does not cause heart disease. And this doctor is going, no, sir, you need, uh, you're almost 60. You need to be on a statin. So, so you're saying her, age, is it so age related? Age, what is it? Saying it's age at a certain age. You have to be on a drug. Yeah. You mean me, the guy that we've just never seen right anybody now, your age fucking country. Yeah. 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 I, I, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. I'm only going to finish this Jardians commercial because I like the song behind it. I know the song is One so good. Jardians can cause serious side effects. It's got hot air balloons. It's got marching bands. Urinary tract infections and sudden kidney problems. Ketoacidosis is a serious side effect. Oh, Anna, mm -hmm. listen to this. Let's go I like back. reading side effects. I, I want more side effect voiceover jobs. All right, look, symptoms of... I will say those, those drug companies, they pay well for the voiceovers. Anna, symptoms the check. Of, of ketoacidosis include nausea, vomiting, stomach pain, tiredness and trouble breathing. These are all the things that Jardians can cause. Well, wait, I'm confused. If Jardians helps type two diabetes and it says it's not recommended for type one diabetics, then why would it give the symptoms of ketoacidosis if it's irrelevant to what this drug does? That's why I'm confused. Uh, OK, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. You, you're asking me for an answer. I don't know. I, I'm yeah, back a Mr. Little bit. I Jardians. You, I hear this again while the woman's going up in a balloon. She's very I'm talking about time. genital yeast infections. Like, oh, it can occur in men too. I feel like you guys should experience that once or twice. Yeah, no, I'm good. Here we go. <laughs> infections and sudden kidney problems. Ketoacidosis is a serious side effect that may be fatal. A rare but life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Jardians and call <gasps> your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this bacterial what? infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. And don't. By the way, they mentioned ketoacidosis twice. Because they want it to sound like ketosis, which is not the same thing. People get ketoacid. I've had doctors get ketoacidosis and ketosis mixed up. Okay. They don't even know. It's mentioned twice in this ad. They tell you you're going to get crotch rot right off the bat. You're going to have bacteria a in the perineum. What? Yeah. yeah, you know what your perineum. You know it's another word for perineum. What is the bacteria? What? How? How would? How would this cause bacteria in your junk? I don't know. What is it doing to you? By the way, folks, the perineum, that's your taint. It, it, it's causing that's a your very taint warm, rot. moist environment. Yeah. And I hope you all at home keep clean. And I'm going to go back. People need to hear that. What, the hell? what is this? OK, so it says genital yeast infection. So obviously this thing gives you some sort of 
imbalance with your yeast or your bacteria. You know, your private parts have a bacteria life. Your gut has a bacteria life. So what is going on with this product that it causes a genital yeast infection or some perineal bacterial infection? What is it? What what is happening? I know. How come I never noticed the butthole infection of this thing before? Because you never took it. Anna, here's the deal. You That's start, horrifying. You start smoking today, you might have, and, and by the way, you start smoking today, you might have complications of smoking when you hit 85, maybe 90, right? You can have got smoking. We know it's horrible. This stuff, you start taking this shit, you're getting other problems, which by the way, they're going to have to give you other drugs for. Do you see the problem here? Oh, yeah. You want to give yourself some sort of yeast imbalance yeah. or bacterial infection? Yeah, now, in now give you another drug and another have drug fun. and another drug. You take this drug and guess what, folks? Uh, All right. We've I'm, already I'm, said I'm really that it's probably, it's probably not going to work. It only works a small percentage of the time. As a matter of fact, the placebo had almost as good of an effect. But take it anyway, because what are you going to get? You're going to get this. Well, hold on. Effects, including Go on. I'm just going to say that if I did this voiceover job, I would have understood all these side effects better. Okay, go ahead. All right, you ready? Yeah. Now, remember, smoking <laughs> will kill you when you're 85 or 90. You will have a great life of smoking if you took it up. If I took or, it up at, the, at 48 right now. I know people, I, I know people who made it to 90 and 100. It's like, um... How long have you been smoking? Picked it up when I was 13. Never put it oh, down. God. I mean, you're going to have other side effects if you smoke that long. Meaning, My mom's aunt around Rose you. made it to almost 90 smoking and drinking. Okay. The yeah. woman always had a smile on her face. She was pickled, but she had a smile on her face. And <laughs> she, was, she would, she would like one things. of her, she was a Salem woman. I'll never forget Aunt Rose had to say she would go from one to the other. She smoked well over a pack and a half a day at least. I never asked her. It had to be because she just went from one to the other. And the woman lived close to 90. Okay. And if you think secondhand smoke is going to kill you, her sister, her spinster sister lived with her and she lived to be almost a hundred. Oh God. Y'all got okay. some good genes going on. Okay. Yeah. Except me. I'm we we have, we had some smokers in the family who died in their mid to early, I mean, mid to late sixties from, and you see me, I don't do anything wrong. I'm the one that got cancer when I was 40. I know. That's right, true. You ready? There's no justice. There, there is no justice to any of it. All right. So you take this drug. Listen closely, folks. Listen. If you're if you're one of the people listening to this podcast who heard the song, boom, 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 boom. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Don't press play yet. I'm looking at the Chiron, which is the graphic on the thing, which we already said yeah. lowers A1C with diet and exercise as if you're going to just miss that important key thing. Number two, at the bottom, it says Jardians is not for people with type one diabetes or for people with diabetic ketoacidosis, which they define in parentheticals, increased ketones in blood or urine. That's what's confusing because people go, well, hold on. I peed on the stick and I had increased ketones or right. I did the blood test and I had increased ketones. Does that mean I have bum, 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 ketoacidosis? Right. No, it ketoacidosis knows, is so much more than increased ketones in the blood or urine. Just right. Saying. It has nothing to, the two have nothing to do with each other. I'll tell you about, I had a relative once who lost a lot of weight. He had a girlfriend who had probably had a hundred pounds to lose, something like that. She was a nurse and she said, you need to stop this crazy ketone diet because you're going to die of ketoacidosis. This is a registered nurse, but hey, I don't know. Maybe she knows something, except she didn't. All right. So folks, listen very closely here. I know I've been yelling into the mic, but this really makes me. And when you hear what Anna has after this, you'll understand how we don't get anything right. Here we go can cause serious side effects including dehydration, genital yeast or urinary tract infections, and sudden kidney problems. Ketoacidosis is a serious side effect that may be fatal. A rare but life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this bacterial infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. And don't take it if you're on dialysis or have severe kidney problems. Taking Jardians with a sulfonylurea or insulin may cause low blood sugar. Lower A1C and lower risk of a fatal heart attack? Yep, they're on it with Jardians. Ask your doctor about Jardians. 
Okay. Managing type 2 diabetes. Wait, hang on, Anna. I just what? caught something at the end of this ad. That makes no sense. Did you see it? Yeah. All right. There, all right. So she's on the field. The woman is on the field and she's the drum major. She's leading. Yeah, I, do, do people know what a drum major is nowadays? Yeah, they do. They, they, they lead the band on the field. Mm -hmm. But somehow during this, during the time she's leading the band on the field, there's a crowd there. Turns out there's a football game. Let me move us out of the way so that people can see this. Now I'm noticing right here, there's a football game going on on the field with it. So nothing about this ad makes sense. Here we go. Why is this? And lower risk. The, the guy's running. You know, he's running because there's a ball coming. Right. He's in the game while the band is still on the field. A fatal heart attack. And he's yeah. like, oh, you. You see, she catches the ball because apparently the band with the drum majors on the field. She catches the ball, and then the guy's like, oh, you. Look at that. You what, can't what, do that. What are you doing? What are you doing with your band on the field? What, what are you we, doing? We beat up band nerds. What are you doing on this field? Yeah, get, get your band people off this field. We're playing a, playing a man's game here, honey. Yeah, we're doing real sports. What are you doing catching my ball? I want to see Anna. You, you know how they do these ads. I want to see where that ball comes. You know, you know someone tossed it to her right off camera, right? Of course. So, look, like right now, she's setting up for I it. I couldn't catch a football thrown by like a quarterback. When, when, when you throw what? anything to Serena, she does this. Yeah. All right. Of yeah, course. Right. Yeah. All right. So, why is this? She's she's <laughs> she's directing a band, and then someone just kind of tosses a ball in underneath. Risk of a fatal heart attack? <laughs> yep, they're on it with Jardians. God, how many We're times does she have to do that take? Oh, managing type two diabetes. You know, you know they did. <laughs> they did twenty takes easily. Easily, that she had to direct them. She had to go one, two, three, four. Catch the ball. Look at camera and nod. Yeah. What? <laughs> she, she's she's not an act. She she's an actor. She's not an athlete. Um, just real quick, I went to the Guardians website and read a little more because I really want to find out about this infection. I'm in your junk. That's just horrifying to me because like it's like enough goes on down there as women you want to do you want to tempt fate with this thing i don't think so listen to this it's called necrotizing fasciitis which is basically a bacteria a flesh-eating bacteria necrotizing fasciitis a rare but serious bacterial infection that causes damage to the tissue under the skin in the area between and around your anus and genitals perineum this bacterial infection has happened in women and men who take jardians and may lead to hospitalization multiple surgeries and death so they had people die and what's going on <laughs> i don't know i keep getting calls they had people die apparently and they're still like, y'all should take this. Here's the other thing. You ready for this? Vaginal, vaginal yeast infection. I'm not even going to talk about that because you hear about it with women all the time. I actually, I'll be honest with you, Vinny. I have never heard of what these words are put together right here. Yeast infection of the penis. I had never, I didn't know that. I thought it was something women dealt with. I, 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 look, Swelling of an uncircumcised penis may develop that makes it difficult to pull back the skin around the tip of the penis. Talk to your healthcare mm -hmm. provider if you have redness, itching, or swelling of the penis, rash of the penis, foul-smelling discharge from the penis, and or pain in the skin around the penis. Okay, guys, if you want your junk to smell really bad and hurt a lot, boom. Yikes. Boom. There you have it. Yeah. All right. Well, and in a related story, uh, let's do first, let's do Villa Capelli. Let's do. Um, before Villa Capelli, folks, uh, I want to remind you guys three days. If you get the three day package over at KetoCon, go to KetoCon.org. Oh, is it? Yes. Um, put in promo code Vinny at the end, and they're giving a discount 10%. So just put in my name. VI How long does that I discount e last? They should get their ticket soon, right? I, I don't know. They didn't tell me. Um, they just called and said, hey, we're, we're so happy that you and Anna are going to be there. Um, we're having a big presence at that thing. Um, I'm having a booth. I'm going to be serving my coffee out there for free. I figure everybody's going to need a cup of coffee after yeah. taking in all of that monk fruit and erythritol. And all <laughs> you're going to need something. You're going to need something. I'm going to do some sauces. Are you going to sample the nut butters too? 
Um, we may have nut butter samples. I, I would have to ask Andy. I don't want to lie. I don't want to speak yeah. out of turn. He's the one that handles that. But we, we're going to be handing out samples of everything. Um, Good. We don't use this as a sales thing. But if people want to buy stuff on the spot, you can buy stuff. Uh, we started doing that because people started saying, hey, I want my I want to have backup. I'm going to my cousin. I'm going blah, 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 blah. So we started bringing stuff. We don't use this as a place to make money, but no, 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 no. This we is we can't hand out whole bottles of stuff. We give samples, but we will have stuff to buy if you want. Uh, but on top of that, boom, we're going to be there. Anna's going to be there with samples. Yeah, I'm doing uh, cooking demos. And look, um, I don't know why anyone would want a picture of us together, but uh, it's the holy grail to have a picture of me, Andy. Serena and Anna in the same photo. The, the last time you and I saw each other in person was probably three years ago. Easily, easily. I have so this will be good. So if you want to watch me and Anna make out in the kissing booth, because there's a kissing booth. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Part up. Um, we're going to be Serena in the, will be the ticket taker for that. <laughs> and for three dollars, you can watch us kiss. We're not going to kiss yeah. you because of COVID regulations and what have you. Yeah. But they're allowing me and Anna to make out. Mm -hmm. um, that's right. Yeah, so if you want to come watch that, it's a new keto con for a new generation. Yeah. And for a thousand dollars, I'll make out with Andy. It's just what we're doing over there. Listen, um, you got to get those tickets paid for. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I <laughs> got to do what I can. Uh, so go check it out. 10% off. Uh, Anna and I, I'm doing like a little side gig while I'm there. You could come in and ask me anything. And yeah, Anna you're doing a breakout, like ask me anything, right? Yeah, you can ask me anything. And Anna's going to be there with the mic. So subsequently, you can ask Anna anything. And That's Serena, right. I, I can't guarantee she's going to sit in on that. But you, she's sat in she on will. those things before. And people have asked her questions. Mostly, can you sign my picture of when you were on Buffy the Vampire Slayer or some crap like that? But at any rate, um, bring <laughs> crap, crap Serena like will sign that. it. Um <laughs> It's so funny. Man. It's like, I forget that I'm with, you know, a, a, an actor. Yeah. And we'll be somewhere and someone will go, well, you were on Buffy. You know? Like, oh, God. Can, can we go now? Um, um, Vinny, yeah. I got to say, it doesn't happen very often because I mostly right. do voiceover. But when I am recognized and people are like, I, I'm literally like, hey, you should sit down and hang out with us. Like, I'm like, because I, it's so exciting to me. Because yeah. I never get recognized. So, but I'm sure it would get really old if it was like you got recognized all the time. But I, for me, I'm like, every time it's happened, I've been like, oh my God, you just made <laughs> me feel so good. I just felt seen. And I used to love getting recognized at the beginning because it was like so rare. Yeah. Oh God, I got recognized again yesterday. <laughs> it's like, and you, you're caught off guard, you know, because you're going, oh, geez. And you start looking, do I have a t shirt with a hole in it? You know, did it? Because I don't know how that all works. Um, so I'm starting to not like getting recognized. And I'm not even a big deal. I can't imagine being like, no, it would just be weird. People like weird. Howie Mandel, you know, I used to be with him and people would stop him all over the place. Oh, yeah. People say weird things. Yeah, that, that kind of recognition. Oh, God, you better be making a lot of money if you're gonna if that becomes your life that you have to stop and yeah. Do it. Um, so anyway, Anna, Villa Capelli olive oil. Oh, my God. I wish Stephen would come do one of these booths. Why well, is he? He can't. He's too. He's in Italy. He's busy making yeah. more oil. He's crushing. He's crushing olives. Crushing olives, baby. Villa Capelli is the best olive oil on the planet. You need to get your hands on some, especially the three liter tin. That is the best deal by far. Yeah. Um. I told you on the show a few weeks ago that I went to uh, pick up my local CSA stuff and they were sampling local olive oil and it was $60 for 500 milliliters. It's crazy. For and Villa Capelli tastes better. It's not much bigger than this bottle. No. In my hand. 500 milliliters is not even bottle. Like, 750 like milliliters, which is like the size of a bottle of wine, is the size of the starter Villa Capelli right. bottle. 750 yeah. milliliters and there's this price, I think at like 28 99, something like that. Right. And I immediately texted Steven. I was like, you need to raise your prices. Like it's time. Yeah. The cheap grocery store stuff is starting to be more expensive than that. So you guys buy this before he raises the prices. He doesn't want to, but I'm going to make him because I know that he needs to, he's barely making his margins and he needs to raise the prices. So that's why I always say the three liter tin is actually the best deal. Cause it works out to $30 a liter. Yeah. Which at the grocery store, uh, they had the 750 milliliter bottle of the 
Lassen's brand olive oil for $32. So hello. Jesus. It's just get the get it, get the bigger one. Get their spices, get the salts, use the discount code Vinny, V-I-N-N-I-E. You'll get 10% off your order each and every time. Yeah. That's why he's not making his margins is because he gives that coupon code all the time. Yeah, and he's not I can't do that. Money. I wish I could give a coupon code all the time, but I just can't do it. I don't no, we, we can't really do it. You know, um, yeah, Paul did that because as a lost leader, so that people can, you know, maybe forget the code the next time and come out. <laughs> they don't forget you know? now because we yeah, the ads all the time. Yeah, under the big tent and, and under the big yeah. top, and but they keep remembering the code. But let them know that we sent you and um, they will be. You'll be very happy it. you bought it. Um, yeah. So, Anna. Mm -hmm. going along with what we've been talking about truth and advertising and how we've been duped and you know how I know this has been a long show so i'm just going to yeah. hit this really quickly but can i just say real quick uh after a year and a half of research and development i have the spices up for sale at eat happy kitchen sure By the time this episode is out you guys will you please go support and i recommend getting the the three pack variety pack at eat happy kitchen we got the taco seasoning the dill ranch seasoning and the barbecue dust or you can get a two pack of whatever flavor you want, but just please go support Eat Happy Kitchen. Uh, Pre-order that stuff. We'll be shipping that stuff on around April 1st. So Vinny. Hang on, Anna. Remember last night when I was muck bunging your stuff? Yeah. Crema. Mm -hmm. That taste was in my mouth and mm -hmm. I wanted more. Yeah. So while I was waiting for the shows to upload, folks, this is a new Vinny recipe. So sit back. Oh boy. I wanted more. Yeah. I, like, because it was already open. I was like, oh, let me just go get some more. So I took like a little saucer, like a little bowl. Mm -hmm. Not very big. It's kind of shallow. The bowl is about an inch or so deep. And I poured about, let's call it roughly half of it in there. And uh, I heated it up. Half of the pink crema? Yeah. I heated it okay. in the microwave by okay. itself. Did you put a piece of wax paper over it so it wouldn't splatter in the microwave? Um, no, that would no, you just let it splatter everywhere. That would have okay. been a pro tip. Um, yeah. but I cleaned it out. I'm always worried it's going to melt. I don't want the paper. In no, there. wax paper is okay. And parchment paper is okay. But I don't do the saran wrap in the microwave. Um, I didn't let it, I didn't let it get bubbly hot. I just warmed it up. And then I dropped a bunch of, we had that really good mozzarella, the, um, mm -hmm. you know, and the I fresh, put, yeah, the good fresh in the water. Mm -hmm. And I took some of that. I put it in there. And I gave it another 15 seconds. Whoa. And then I brought that, you know, the burrata with that. And I brought it downstairs. I let it cool. I don't like things too hot. I don't know how hot it was. I let it cool while I was uploading and sending off yeah. messages and holding. And I just started slowly eating that. It was like the best soup I've ever, it was the best tomato soup. It's almost like had. a grilled cheese meets a tomato soup, but without the carbs. As a matter of fact, if I had the wherewithal, I would have gone upstairs and taken one or two leaves of Boslico and just mm -hmm. crushed them up yeah. and just put them in there. And I would have hit it with a little more black pepper or white pepper because I, I love pepper. Me too. And it would have made it taste like the world's best tomato soup. So folks, you could take a bottle of this. Let's say you and your wife, you and your girlfriend, whatever. You want something before the meal. You want to have like a little Zupa. You want to do a little something. You put the, the cheese in there, just, you know, right after you do it, just put a little basilico on the top, um, basilico, basil on top. Sometimes I become my grandmother. <laughs> and, um, it, it was a meal in and of itself. So good. It, uh, yeah, I just, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no. You, you have Thank to. Thank you. You have to. I want to, I want to get to the article, eathappykitchen.com. Thank you, Vin. I appreciate that. Yeah. A whole bunch. So here's the article a couple of weeks ago that took the internet by storm. It was all over my feed. A ton of people sent it to me and it is shocking. Okay. And here I'll read the USA Today version. It is titled a teen ate leftover rice and noodles. Hours later, doctors amputated his legs and fingers. Hours after eating leftovers from a restaurant, a 19-year-old was admitted to the hospital with multiple organ failure and later had both his legs and all his fingers amputated. The Massachusetts college student had eaten rice, chicken, and lo mein from a restaurant. Soon after, he felt abdominal pain and his skin turned a shade of purple, according to a report from the New England Journal of Medicine. 
A teenager was admitted to a hospital for, quote, shock, multiple organ failure and rash, end quote, and his condition quickly declined. He experienced abnormal breathing, high blood pressure and vomiting, blah, blah, blah. After further tests, he was diagnosed with menin, I can never say this word, meningococcal purpura fulminan disease, which caused his stiff neck, nausea, respiratory collapse, shock and organ failure, according to the report. Purpura fulminan is a rare complication that comes with septic shock, which the college student experienced, according to the report. Okay. Now, this was all over my news feed. People sent it. I think people even were like, oh, see, he ate leftover sugars and grains. And I was like, what? Yeah, that, that's not going to cause that. Uh, no. So, I, look, I, you know, I feel well, finally, person, but what, what's the truth? Well, here's the thing. You know how you and I like to do a little deep dive, and I'm not going to do a deep dive because somebody already did it. But um, Ars Technica basically about a week later described how that medical report in the New England Journal of Medicine was completely misinterpreted for an inflammatory news article that everybody would click on and go, better throw out all your Chinese food leftovers or you're going to get meningococcal pupia or whatever it is, right? Wrong disease, yeah. Right. So it says, no, bad leftovers didn't cause teens life-threatening infection and amputations. Media misreads medical case study, blames non-foodborne infection on leftovers. Medical experts are calling out a rotten batch of news articles that wrongly claimed spoiled leftover Chinese food caused a teen to develop a life-threatening infection within hours, which led to the amputation of both legs below the knees and uh, parts of all 10 of his fingers. In reality, the 19-year-old male suffered a rare and extremely severe complication from a blood infection with a bacterium that causes meningococcal disease. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that word. The bacterium known as Neisseria meningitis is not foodborne, and its incubation period is longer than just a few hours. The N. meningitis bacteria harmlessly colonize the noses and throats of about 10% of people. It spreads through very close contact and directly swapping saliva, such as through coughing, kissing, and living in close quarters like dormitories. Given the risk in group settings, many colleges and universities require students to get meningococcal vaccines before attending. Still, there has never been a documented case of it spreading via food. But you might not have gotten that idea from the numerous news articles that spread the alarming suggestion that the forgotten about take about, sorry, that the forgotten takeout lurking in the back of our fridges could kill us in a matter of hours. The f- um, the f- fallacious warning that sounds like I'm saying fallacio, the fall <laughs> the fallacy warning was likely yeah. amplified by YouTuber Bernard Hsu, known as Chubby Yumiu, who posted a lengthy dramatization of the case that has been viewed 1.5 million times. The real accident came from misreading a case record of the man's condition, which was published more than a year ago in the New England Journal of Medicine, which regularly features articles in a series called Case Records of Massachusetts General Hospital. The records present unusual or puzzling medical cases in an explanatory way for educational purposes. So then it goes on to explain the whole red herring. In the March 2021 case record, a 19-year-old male was admitted to a pediatric intensive care unit because of shock, multiple organ failure, and a rash. He just happened to note, incidentally, reporting eating rice, chicken, and lo mein leftovers from a restaurant meal about 20 hours before landing in intensive care. And it basically, the symptoms had nothing to do with it. But then they went on to say that, like, Listen, that, that's that's as that that's. But at least somebody tried get, to clear it up. You and I are sitting here usually looking, right, reading the article, going, get, "This is bullshit." Tom Brady is selling protein. That's why they're saying Tom Brady's now going. He's vegan, even because he's selling pea protein. He's not vegan. Right. Let me give two. Let me do an analogous here. Um, man uh, drives through drive through at McDonald's, leaves drive through, gets t boned, and gets killed. The article could read. McDonald's drive through causes immediate death, right? <laughs> that, that, that's, that's analogous to what we're right. talking about here. Right. Yes. It's, you know, whenever, um, whenever someone gets too much inflammation in their arteries and too much plaque, which does not come from cholesterol, the cholesterol goes in and tries to clear up the plaque. So when the person has 
a heart attack, they'll see cholesterol at the scene of the crime, and they'll go, obviously, cholesterol causes heart disease. That's analogous to um, uh, uh, the best one I could come up with is, and everyone uses it, not just me. Um, that's like every time you see a house that just burned down, you see a bunch of firemen rolling up hoses, and you go, obviously, firemen, they cause fires because they're always at the scene of a fire, right? Right. It, you know, that's what you have to look into, folks. Whenever someone sends me something, and Anna, because we've been doing this for long enough, when someone sends me something online, we look around and go, okay, that doesn't sound right. Right. Let me go take a look. Let's just go take a look. See. And, and by the way, it, it, I, I've never had anything like that check out. Anything that's inflammatory that we've looked at over the past decade has never checked out. They're not okay, and we're back. Um, we had some technical difficulty. So, Anna, let's just end the show right now. Yeah. Um, let's end it. We love you guys. Thanks for being an amazing right, so, audience. Uh, go check out Anna Vicino. Uh, go check out AnnaVicino.com. EatHappy.com. She will have the spices. EatHappyKitchen.com. She will have the spices out when this show comes out. Yeah. So check that out with me. You know what to do. Before you go to Amazon, go to VinnyTotteries.com. Uh, click through the banner. It puts coal on a fire. It gets my train down the track. This money does not end up in my pocket. It keeps this show free. Also, uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba, uh, super fan page. Go check that out. Now let me turn this off because Anna.